Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mission Army Finds. So glad you can join me again for another rash review. This time we have another oldie, but a goodie. This is a 1980s beef frankfurters, made number six, not for in-flight or pre-flight use. Accessory packet E. Well, let's dig into this, folks. It sounds like good eating. I really like Frankies. Let's get eating. Here we have, oh, the beans with tomato sauce. And this is a 1982 MRE. This is, whoops. This is 40 years old. The accessory pack, white spoon. Oh, yes, the cocoa beverage powder, type 1 fortified. Scrape jelly, salted crackers. And then we got the main course, Frankfurters. Oh, man, I'm so excited, folks. That's it. That's all in the bag. All right, folks, let's get eating. Look at these beauties. Oh, oh man, this is what perfection looks like, folks. This is what perfection looks like. This is literally the greatest food they ever put in MREs. Probably the greatest food ever. These nice, sturdy crackers with salt that gives it a nice season and balance to it. It's so salty and perfect. I mean, look at the snap. Oh. You're not going to get that kind of snap in today's MREs, uh, crackers. Let's check out if the accessory pack... There's a lot of delamination there. I don't know. So we got... Oh, look, cookie. Or no. Oh, a vanilla fudge. Oh, man, we got a little dessert here. All right. Ooh. Oh, is that just sugar, sugar crystallization? Yeah, I think that's what that is, folks. I think it's just sugar. Let me check. Yeah, that's sugar crystallization. That's fine. All right. You're going to get that with a vintage vanilla fudge. All right, so. Rest of the contents out here. Ooh, beaches. Hey, look at that. I haven't had beaches in literally years, man. I think last time I had beaches was 2019. Yeah. 2019 was the last time I had beaches. Well, then again, the last time I had a vintage 1980s MRE was 2019. Anyway. So, look. Why is that toilet paper blue? <laughs> Why is that toilet paper blue? Hang on. Let's get to the bottom of this. Wow, it feels so soft. It feels like, I, dare I say it, like Charmin. It feels so soft, like softer than the white toilet papers. You know? Like, good lord. Wow. I guess if you're out in the middle of the sea, it's good camouflage, but I don't see why it would be blue. I guess a good morale boost. I guess because they were tired of seeing the white... You know, they added blue or something. That's pretty cool. I mean, my morale is pretty high right now because of that. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. So now we got sugar, salt, you know, matches. Um, coffee instant type one, which is going right with my cocoa. Creamer. Mmm, no good. And then, whoa, catsup. Whoa. It, oh, guys, whoa. It's still fine. The catsup is still what a Christmas miracle. Oh, man. Accessory pack smells like like the 90s, but with like that vanilla fudge. And oddly enough, that catsup, it smells exactly kind of like ketchup. Oh, it smells so great in there, folks. If you've never sniffed a 1980s accessory pack, what are you doing with your life, you know? Go out there in life and sniff a 1980s accessory pack, folks. Go out there and sniff one. This is amazing. It just It just smells like nostalgia. And I'm, I'm, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about because I wasn't even born in the 80s. I'm going to have a 1982 Army Mocha, folks. Man, I'm excited. So I've had the, I've had the early 80s cocoa beverage powder. It, it, it's amazing. It, it, it's literally, it smells and tastes like a Cadbury chocolate. If you've never had a 1980s early, though, not an 85 or 89, I'm talking about early. It's from 1980 to 82 hot cocoa beverage powder. You gotta get you gotta get yourself one, folks. You gotta get yourself one. It smells how like a Cadbury egg smells. Tastes. What? I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, absolutely delicious and delectable in there. We're gonna have that catsup just sitting right here. I'm really excited about that. You know, not every day you get the. This is a, a rare treat and a, a testament to how well this ration was stored. How the heck is this catsup still fine? We're going to dig into that probably before, uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for the Frankies to come. Ooh, there's a little delamination there. Hmm. Got to put this hot water in here, up in here, and 
have ourselves a nice 1982 army mocha and i'm going to go ahead I'm go ahead and put the sugar in there folks and i'm going to stir that vigorously make sure everything is good mixed up stir very well oh yeah that's perfect not every day you can have yourself a 40 year old army mocha decadent it's perfect. It's perfection. I mean, I can't... It's it's way better than what you get at Starbucks or whatever other coffee shop. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. It's rich. It's creamy. It's smooth. The coffee adds a nice bitterness, but boldness to it. The hot chocolate and the sugar add is very sweet, but not sickeningly sweet, like diabetes sweet. And it's very... It's just very smooth and creamy, and, and, and it's so sweet and so delicious, folks. Mm. And it's good for uh, the winter. It's good. It's good morale boost to have out in the winter. And uh, it got cold here in Georgia for a little while. For a little while. There we go. I love me some uh, grape jelly on these 1982 crackers. Oh, wow. I'm going to need a wet nap after this. <laughs> Let's go for this combination here, folks. What a perfect pairing. While you're waiting for your Frankies to heat up in your beans, you could have yourself a salted crackers with the jelly. It's sweet. It's salty. And because it's sweet and salty, it kind of tastes like a, a, a shortbread cookie, like a jam, like a shortbread jam cookie or something. It's it, it's amazing. Like a croissant, you know, like a flaky. It's, it's, it, it's the perfect, this cracker has the perfect crunch. It's a very satisfying and excellent crunch. And this jelly is sweet. And because it's 40 years old, it's gotten stronger and, and more pronounced in that grape jelly. And that is a perfect pairing. Perfect. Match made in heaven, folks. Mm. All right, that's the last of the jelly. They don't give you much, but just enough for like maybe one or two squares. Mm. That is literally so incredibly good. You guys don't even know it. Again, I wish there was like some device or something. In, I wish there was like a hologram I could put up. Y'all could eat it without actually eating it. it. It's it. I wish that was a thing. Cause I do believe that everyone in their lives, at one at one point in their life, something is like seventy five or something or eighty. That's the life expectancy expectancy in America. I wish everyone could try the the army mocha, the forty year old army mocha. And the 40-year-old crackers and jam. Absolutely amazing. All right, folks. I'm going to get the uh, the Frankies and the beans. All right, folks. Got the beans and the Frankies. Look how there's little to no delamination. And if it is, it is it's a little bit. But look how well this, this ration was stored. There's like no delamination. And it's 40 years old. I mean, good Lord. Frank is right there. Okay, so... They want you to cut it, but the tips are going to get cut off. And uh, if you're a guy, oh, man, that's going to suck. So I'm not going to go ahead and just avoid the tip. No homo. Cut that right there. All right. Ah, oh, there's Frankie juice all over my table. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at those Frankies. <laughs> Woo. That smells like America, folks. Uh, smells like a 4th of July. If you're not American, you wouldn't understand. Uh, smells like freedom right there. No, seriously, it, it does smell very inviting, very savory and smoky. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in 1990s, the late 90s, I think they called them smoky frankfurters. I think so. Oh man, there's beans all over. That better be, man, I, I'm so clumsy when it comes to, oh wow, that smells like, Oh, it smells like those, um, oh, I can't remember what brand of beans they are, but like steakhouse recipe beans. Oh, man. Oh, all right, it's starting to get a little bit hot. Come on, beans, get out. All right, where's the spoon? All right, let me clean that off. All right. It's got 
jelly on it. Oh man, I am so flippin' excited. So let's go for a Frankie here. And ooh, the, the texture is um odd. I may have left it in the water too long, boiling water. We'll see. Let's go for that. Ooh. Mmm. I did. Hmm. I'm gonna chew on it for a little bit. Just so I don't swallow rancid food. Mmm. That tastes like a 4th of July. Mmm. Okay. It's not rancid. Nothing's off about it. It's just very mushy. And I think if I hadn't left it in too long, and I, I got carried away by the crackers and, and, and cocoa, it would have been fine and had a perfect snap. But, yeah, it's very mush. I mean, you could kind of see just... I can almost make it like a pate because it's very mush. But that is excellent. Wow. So now I want to go for the beans here. I gotta be very careful with 40 year old beans. I'm gonna take a very small bite of these beans. They smell great. They have a nice acidity to them because of the tomato sauce. We'll see, folks. Let's take a small bite. Because this stuff can sneak up on you. If you're not careful and you're eating old MREs thinking it's fine, boom, rancidity hits. Okay. I can confidently say neither are rancid. However, the beans, they don't have that much great flavor. I'll be honest, they don't. However, this might add some flavor, right? Let's put some on there. All right, let's go for that combination. Salted crackers make anything better. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. In fact, it could use a little salt. All right. This catsup. Now you can reconstitute it or eat it dry. Let's let's see what it looks like first. This is the first time I've had catsup. That's perfectly no. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, mama. I have to get that on a white spoon immediately. What the heck? Wait, let's go for it. All right, folks, let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh man, that is tangy and tart. It's 100% dehydrated catsup or ketchup. That's amazing. That stuff is amazing. Holy cow. Man, let's put that on a Frankfurter. All right. Let's give that a shot with the catsup. You know what? Let's rehydrate it. Little water. I may have put too much water in it, but I don't care. What an amazing find. I can't believe I found a, a Frankfurter's MRE. A 1980s at that. That's perfectly edible. Like, everything is perfectly edible. We'll see about that vanilla fudge. That might not be, but the catsup, edible. Let's go for the ketchup now. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is downright cool. This is amazing. I'm going to eat every bite. I paid good money for it. Whoops. Mmm. Mmm. have to try the ketchup with the cracker. I do. Let's see how that is. Mmm. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. What the heck? That is amazing. The acidity of that ketchup goes so well and pairs perfectly with the cracker, the salted cracker. It does not get any better than this. This is peak ration reviewing at its finest. 
I mean, you're not going to find a more edible Frankie Smoky Frankfurters. You're not. I guarantee you it. You're just not. I don't know how well this was stored. This awesome edible ration. Out of all the ration reviewers on YouTube, I'm the one that gets to review it. I'm so blessed, and I just want to thank God for it, you know. And uh, I I'm incredibly grateful for this opportunity. This is amazing. Mm. Oh. That was literally the greatest combination of this meal. Everything paired so well and complemented each other very excellently. What an MRE. Mm. 1982 frankfurters menu number six this was absolutely delicious very nothing was inedible or rancid or gone off well i don't know we'll see about this bar here i don't know Ugh, look at the cross section mm. all right here we go Oh, man, it smells like mint. Well, it was with the beaches, so of course it smells like mint. All right, the vanilla fudge bar, mint flavored, peppermint. All right, here we go. You know, it's not bad. It's not rancid and inedible. However, it tastes like mint and artificial vanilla. And that chocolate coating is god-awful. Oh, hang on. I can pick it out. Mm. It's not bad. It's not rancid. I don't know how the heck, but that thing is not rancid. Hang on. It may be rancid. Hang on. Let me give it another try. I I'm not sure. Hang on, folks. Hmm. Okay. Can confirm it's not rancid, but the flavor is terrible. Absolutely disgusting. It's the, it's, the, it's the worst thing in this meal so far. <sighs> Nothing a 40-year-old army mocha won't help fix. All right, folks. Last thing to do is try these beachies. And it's again, it's been years since I had a beachie. And I'm very excited and stoked to have this again. I can't remember if they give you one or two. Oh, well, that answers that question pretty fast, pretty quickly. They give you two. Okay. If this is soft, I'm going to be... Starstruck, dumbfounded, bamboozled, and it's soft. This thing should be hard as a rock. How was this stored in like Antarctica? You're not gonna find this flavor ever in today. I mean, this peppermint gum made by Lifesavers Incorporated, New York, New York. None of this stuff that's in gum today where you can't even pronounce it. It's like it's like you're going to need like a, a, a an aeronautical science, NASA air engineering degree. It's, it's words like propazine, proloparine. Like, what the heck is that? You know, what the heck is a propylene, propazine, or whatever. Anyway, this is the best gum I've ever had in my life. It's just peppermint. That's it. That's the ingredient. It's just peppermint, folks. You're not going to find that today at all. You're not going to find natural ingredients in gum today. This was a well-stored, a well-edible, and delicious Frankfurter's MRE. Menu number six, 1982, 40 years old. Not for in-flight or pre-flight use. I think this was uh, pilots or something, or something in the... Uh, well, I'm not very... Sh I'm not actually sure. Usually I have my information on me, but I actually don't for this one. I'm not sure what the heck a uh, in-flight or pre-flight use is. Anyway... What a great ration, folks. I can't believe the ketchup was edible. I, I, I can't believe it. It was still powdered. After 40 years old, what a well-stored ration. I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in to today's ration review. So glad you could join me. And I really do really, really, really hope you enjoyed this ration review. If you did, you know, if you don't mind just leaving a like or, you know, a comment, what have you. Anyways, folks. I'm Nation Unrefines, where I'm on a quest to consume unique rations from all around the world. 
And today was America. It doesn't get any more American than hot dogs and beans, folks. Hot dogs and beans and a little bit of ketchup. Anyways, folks, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in another rational review. Goodbye.